Well, look at here. Some nuthead sitting in the van taking pictures of himself again. What a big old world this is. There's people driving around here every place. I was just talking the other day to a customer that brought a printer in for work. He's from Moldova, which is near the Ukraine. I could tell by his accent that it was somewhere in that area. I asked him where he was from. I told him I went to a, on a work and witness program with my church and some other folks back in 2004 over to the country of Ukraine. Went to Venezia and Kiev and a few other places around in that area. And he said that's close. I told him that I thought it was interesting the way everybody over there walks, kind of like everybody over here drives when they're going someplace. He said, Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking about how people drive everywhere in this country this morning because there's the freeways, man, just kind of busy, you know, they always are this time of day. I guess whether you walk or drive or whatever you do, you got somewhere you got to go, you got to get there. Thing is, if I'm not careful, I get so busy and I stay so busy that I don't have time to do the things that are important. Like remember who God is and that he made me for a reason. I'm not just here to goof around and play with cameras or motor vehicles or any of that stuff. There's a fella at my church that's been trying to teach us to support Palestinians and Muslims. And he's got all kinds of notions about how the Bible does have errors in it so it's not inerrant. And all these things, but it seems to me there's an underlying current in those teachings that if every Christian jumped on board with them, their faith would be weaker. That concerns me. Praying for you, Don. A lot of occupying going on in town these days. Primarily, I think, because we are the 10% or some such thing. Sorry about that. Don't mean to be tried about important things. I just, I believe there are more important things. And a limited amount of time to be concerned about what's important. I'm 62 years old. I don't feel like I have a whole lot of time left to fulfill the great commission that Jesus Christ himself left us with. And if you've got something more important than that to follow, I'd like to know what it is. This will save more lives than anything else ever has for a lot longer than anything else ever has. No one's ever proved it, that it won't. It's certainly worth a little of your time. Investigate it. You'll re you can read about it in the Bible. I recommend it. We are now downtown Portland. There are people everywhere. Some of these people have decided not to wear their coats today. They're regretting it now as we speak. It's four degrees or something. And they're not wearing coats. They look like intelligent human beings, but apparently looks can be deceiving. Look at these guys. Intelligent human beings. Well, yeah, I have that problem all day long. Data connection lost. Think that guy has any bumper stickers? 
If you think education is expensive, try ignorance, it says. Love your mother. Speak your mind even if your voice shakes. You can't trust me with a choice. How can you trust me with a child? What would Buddha do? Well, Buddha is dead. Oh, that's a dumb question. Should have read that one first. I'd have had the whole gist of the back end of that car, huh? Live simply that others may simply live. Reduce, reuse, recycle, restore. Coexist. QI. Whatever that means. Quai. Art, join, shop, film. See that? It's beautiful. I feel more cultured just being down here. Here's the YWCA right here. That's culture to me. I'll take it wherever I can get it. I'm not picky. I'm proud. Well, sometimes I get a little proud. But I'm not proud of that. I have to keep an eye on where I'm going in case this GPS lady loses her data again. You know what I mean? I heard feelings. I'm sorry about that. Okay, well, here we go. We'll turn left here on this street, and then my destination will be on the left. She's having to drag her dog across the street. That poor thing. That poor, poor thing. Some lady showing off her flowers to some other ladies. That's nice. What do you think? Well, she gave them to her. How sweet. parking spot. What we had to do was inconvenience a whole bunch of people for a little while and we got it. Live in the big city. Right across from Office Depot. I'm thinking some knucklehead pushed the open the bridge button on that thing over there. So we're just going to sit here for a little bit while some tugboat put putts underneath the bridge at the river. This is one of the many thrills you get to have when you live in a place they affectionately call River City. If you're not sitting around waiting for some boat to go by, 
motivated some goofball to open the bridge. I had that happen once when I was sailing. We had a little 19-foot sailboat. And I guess the tide was in or something, but they actually opened a bridge for us so we could go underneath it. I felt like a fool. But it was kind of empowering, too, you know. Uh-oh. Now it's going down already. Look at that. But anyway, if they're not opening the bridges so you can sit around and wait in traffic for them to get done putt-putting around in their boats, they'll be warning you on the radio about the raw sewage that's flowing into the rivers. I mean, it's not exactly a tourist attraction around here having rivers. Beautiful clouds. I don't know if you can see that or not. Totally amazing. What God can do with clouds. Down two. Uh, oops. I made that noise. It's okay for me to do that. I'm just an old man anyway. Nobody cares. You're not going to be impressed with me if I don't melt. Think it through.